Okay, so this is a quick recording of an uh, interface I've been playing with in terms of uh, spatial hypertext and how that might relate to creating uh, learning objects or documents. So here's just a basic example uh, of how that might work. So I can create my object in here. So I can give this a type uh, and then I can put in my author or authors. I can add some tags in here. Uh, and what you'll notice as well is that at the bottom here it's uh, previewing this in a styled way so obviously this is all in one window uh, I've got some top text that I've uh, copied to the clipboard which is in uh, markdown so here I can write in this basic formatting so the hashes and the uh, arrow there create formatted document so you can make it obviously look nice and I've just added some really basic formatting to the headings and the quotes and whatever okay so then once I'm happy that I've got all of my details in there and I've set this up correctly I can then save that learning object that is then saved to a real-time database it can be edited later on and now if I scroll down uh, actually let's move this up uh, into this spatial view here so then I can actually enable the spatial mode and there's already a few documents in there so if I click enable spatial mode what you'll see now is the document I've just created is here uh, and it always was there once it's created I just hadn't got the spatial mode turned on and now you can see this object I can now position and we'll eventually be able to connect accordingly to these at the moment they're all the same colors there's very little uh, application of styling in the spatial view but this object here is part of that spatial view so if I now let's uh, reset these so let's take these off go back up to here what I can do is I can add uh, another object and let's give it a new location just so we can see it off the bat and I'm going to call this uh, video and then in here maybe I'll you know maybe I'll add in a YouTube link. And I might tag that. Uh, uh, oh, where's my tags gone? Oh no, I've done it here now. <laughs> uh, And then if I click save learning object and then scroll back down to my spatial view. Now if I turn this back on, you'll see now here we go, there's that new object that I've added. Uh, you'll notice that all the view all the objects are back where they started, and then these will be positioned where you want them to be, connected in whatever way you want. Okay, hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of uh, where I'm progressing.